What's happening guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you now. Happy New Year to you all. Let's talk about Canelo Alvarez who dominated Callum Smith a couple of weeks ago to capture the WBC and WBA super middleweight titles. Uh, he's planning, he's, he's already planning his next fight. He's looking to get out there in February to take on his WBC mandatory challenger, Avni Yildirim. That was part of the agreement that was made when the uh, WBC belt was, um, it, it was vacant at the time and it was on the line uh, in the Callum Smith and Canelo fight. And uh, part of the agreement for fighting for that belt was that, you know, they'd have to make a mandatory defence against Avni Yildirim. Now, how Avni Yildirim, first of all, got to be the mandatory or got to get himself in that position, I really don't know. Um, he's not on the level. He's not a world-class fighter. He's not a world-class operator. Uh, we've seen him in the past. I mean, he got chinned by Chris Bank Jr. in the World Boxing Super Series. And uh, I haven't really heard much from him since. So excuse me for my ignorance, but I haven't really seen much from him. So how he's got into this position, I don't know. He's really just been a sparring partner for Canelo Alvarez. I mean, they've sparred each other in the past. And look, I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way, but that's really how I see him. It's really just going to be a sparring session. But regardless, Canelo Alvarez and his team are, are, are talking about fighting Anthony Yildirim in February. So it, it's crazy. I mean, for you know a guy who's recognised as the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. And, um, you know, you see a lot of the fighters nowadays, the top, top-level ones, really, they're, they're, not, they're, not as in, they're not as active as you'd hope them to be. I mean, granted, we are still going through a pandemic right now, but look at Canelo Alvarez. I mean, he's literally just defeated Callum Smith a couple of weeks ago, and he's already mapping out his 2021. Now, this is the sort of stuff I like to see. Now, Avni Yildirim, like we just write that off. It's just going to be a tune-up fight, really. Um, he's looking for that fight to take place in Mexico if they are allowed crowds in the stadiums there. Um, I was very surprised, like side note, I was actually very surprised to see like 12,000 people in, in, um, in the stadium for Canelo Alvarez against Callum Smith. It just looked weird to me considering everything that's going on and uh, America being like, you know, one of the, the worst affected areas for, you know, coronavirus and the fact that they were able to stage that. But regardless, um, there were 12,000 people there and, um, you know, they're looking to take this fight of Avni Yildirim in Mexico. That's their ideal plan. I'm not saying that that's going to happen. There's been nothing confirmed yet, but that's what they want to do. Uh, they want to have that fight in February and then providing that he wins that, which he should, uh, he's looking at May, uh, uh, Cinco de Mayo, which is really a date in the diary for Canelo. It's a Mexican national holiday. Canelo is um, the premium fighter, one of the best, well, the most, one of the most well-known fighters around the world, particularly in Mexico. So that's really become his date. So um, he's looking at Billy Joe Saunders for that one. He's been looking at maybe Caleb Plant for that one. Um, he wants to become undisputed at 168 pounds. Now, you've got to respect it. You know, you've got to respect it. But I hope that Billy Joe Saunders gets that fight in May. Uh, there's talks about uh, Triple G, maybe. I really hope that, that doesn't, not, that's not the case. I'm not interested in seeing a third fight with Triple G at all. That's just my personal opinion. I'd like to see these guys fight other people. Um, yeah, I, I've seen that fight twice. I'm not interested in seeing Triple G and Canelo again. But hopefully we get to see uh, Canelo fulfil his um his ambition of trying to become undisputed at 168 pounds. In order to do that, he's going to have to defeat Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Plant. So if he if we can get one of those fights in May, I'll be very happy with it. But uh, the team have made no secret about it, and uh, I think they've only really spoke to Eddie Hearn at this point. I don't think they've spoken to the PBC, who uh, Caleb Plant obviously that's his network. That's who he fights for. So um, let's see what happens, man. But it's just good to see Canelo mapping out his his, uh, his year. You know, he holds all the marbles. He controls everything. He's the money fight. He's the golden ticket. That's who people want to fight at the end of the day. And uh, it's good to see, you know, him making plans and the schedules as to what he wants to do uh, for, for 2021. So let's see how it all pans out. Uh, nothing confirmed as of yet, but I expect it to be done soon. Canelo against Avni Yildirim in February. And then Canelo against either, um, you know, Billy Joe Saunders or Caleb Plant, hopefully in May. Let's see what happens, guys. Well, let me know your thoughts on it all in the comment section below. I'll catch you all on the next video.